Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Immortal Phoenix Rising, the new game from Ubisoft. So first of all, I want to mention that I'm currently uh, running a Ryzen 3900X plus an RTX uh, 2070. Also, I'm using a, a laptop that it's running an i7 7, 7700K. Uh, but the mobile version with the uh, GTX 1060. So I'm doing two different uh, tests with my uh, two different computer. Right now on my IN computer, honestly, this game is running well. If I'm putting everything at ultra, like very high, I will be between uh, 85 and 95 FPS in 1080p. And uh, if I tweak a little bit the game, I can get easily like 120 to 140 FPS. So uh, this game is running really smooth, honestly, if I compare this with uh, the la latest uh, Assassin's Creed. So you will see the guide. So first of all, let's start with Windows. Uh, write game mode in your search bar. Open your game mode. Make sure that game mode is at uh, free important. You don't want it to cause like any stuttering and any weird stuff uh, with your game. And sometimes with game mode is not very good. And sometimes you can gain like one to two FPS, but it's not worth all the problem that it's currently causing in a lot of game. Xbox game bar, make sure this one is at off, really important. And also those capture settings, make sure that background recording is at off and recorded audio is at off. Another thing that is really important, make sure that you have your latest driver. So if you have NVIDIA driver, make sure that you have the latest one. Same thing with AMD and even Intel. If you're using uh, an integrate GPU, uh, you want to make sure that you have the latest driver because if you're just using the uh, update uh, driver from Windows, they're just going to give you like some driver to make sure that your uh, iGPU will work with your monitor in, in the proper resolution but it's not for gaming so really go download the latest software this game is a big game it's a triple a game so uh, they will have dedicated driver for this one normally with Nvidia and AMD you can gain like five to seven percent boost uh, if you have the latest version of your uh, GPU uh, after that GPU scheduling right GPU in your search bar open the graphic setting uh, Windows has a, have a new has a new feature, sorry, uh, called the Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. I have a dedicated video and I'm explaining like what it's doing. Um, so you have you need like the latest driver from your GPU and also you need the Windows 10, the version 2004. Make sure that this is at on and you will need to restart your computer to make sure that it apply. Uh, if you have an iHand computer like my Ryzen one, I don't see any difference in my FPS, but on my laptop, I can gain like three to four percent boost in my FPS. So it's a nice touch to activate. One more thing that I want to mention, a new feature uh, from the latest version of Windows, right to refresh and open this uh the advanced display setting now you can see your refresh rate so it's it's a bit weird because a lot of people when they come to my stream uh they're telling me they, they bought like a new uh monitor and they like their the new monitor looks very nice it's smooth etc and i'm asking about like the refresh rate and they didn't change anything on their uh, gpu drivers so they were running 60 hertz when the monitor is 240 hertz so this is pretty much where you can change it now in windows it's more easy because some people don't like to open like drivers they, they feel like it's a bit complicated so in windows now you have the option to change the refresh rate over there so it's easy to see and just do it over there so that's about it for windows now we will go inside of the game and after that we will go in the config file so now in the game go to option go to display so first of all make sure that you your active monitor is the proper one uh, after that window mode really important play this game in full screen don't go borderless i think it's by default in borderless but go with full screen you will gain two to three fps so it's not that bad uh aspect ratio don't touch it just like play your native resolution normally you play your native but after all my guide if you're still struggling with your fps you will probably need to lower your resolution for something like 720p Refresh rate, it should match your refresh rate of your monitor. If you have 60, it should be 60, 144, 240, uh, depending on your monitor. V-Sync, I'm not using the V-Sync. Uh, I just like unlock it. I want like more FPS, but uh, it's, it's it's not a competition, competition game. So you don't really care about the input lag of the V-Sync. So if you're seeing a lot of tearing when you're playing, just put your V-Sync at on. 
Uh, I'm not using any FPS limiter. Resolution modifier uh, stay at 100%. Don't go lower than like 95 because after that it will go uh, blurry and you will see pixel in your image. I prefer just to lower my resolution than touch the resolution modifier. Field of view, I'm just playing 100. I feel like 100 is pretty decent for this game. Uh, sometimes when you... Uh, um, you put the slider up for your field of view, you will see more stuff in front of you, so you need to render more, and sometimes you can't lose FPS. So me, I'm just like playing default. After that, go to graphic. So first of all, adaptive quality, make sure this one is at off. Uh, I really don't like this option. It's cool that they give you the option, but uh, I will explain you a little bit. Like sometimes you can get like a really nice image, you're just playing and now you're starting to fight. And if everything is dropping, graphic quality and stuff like that, because they want to make sure that you have a stable frame rate. So it's, I prefer just to set my game like I want to play it, and I just like go for it, uh, because I don't like like those adaptive stuff that is changing in my image when I'm playing it. After that, anti-aliasing. This one is a bit tricky. I did a couple of tests, I versus off, and I was gaining like three FPS. So I didn't understand what's going on with the anti-aliasing. Normally, you can gain a lot more with this. So just go with medium, honestly, and you will not see a big difference. After that, environment quality also. I didn't get a lot of FPS if I compare very high to very low. I was gaining like six FPS boost. So go with something between medium or high. I, you will have a, a bigger hit on your VRAM. So if you look at the VRAM bar over there, if you go medium versus uh, I, I and very high are pretty much the same. So medium is a good balance for you guys if you are you have like a mid-range low-end computer. The, the 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 best graphic parameter to get the most of FPS is shadow quality and effect quality. If you go very low with shadow quality, you can gain like 10% boost in your FPS, and it's pretty much the same thing with effect. Why effect gives you a lot of FPS? It's because they didn't split all those uh, water uh, the option, uh, cloud, fog. Uh, so everything is pretty much in the effect quality. So that's why when you put very low, you're modifying a lot of stuff. But after that, I will show you what you can do in the config file because you can modify those uh, individually in the config file. But if you really need FPS, just go with very low in effects. After that, uh, texture quality, this one I'm going with very high. It's just depend uh, on your VRAM. So look at your VRAM. Honestly, if you put everything at very high in this game, I think you maybe you will hit like three gig of VRAM. So it's not huge, honestly, everybody can run that. But uh, if you have like two gig and um, less uh, on your video card, uh, just go like, like lower your texture quality it will help you a lot and don't go too crazy if you have like for example 3 gig of vram don't go at 2950 just let like 10 to 15 uh, percent empty to make sure everything is running properly after that screen space reflection and beyond inclusion this those one are a bit like shadow quality so when you put them at off you can gain a nice boost so three percent over there three percent over there so you can gain like six percent boost in your fps with those options after that, depth of field, but this one, I, I, again, I don't like it. Uh, when you put this one at off, you have some kind of focus that the focus is clear and everything else is blurry. So this one, put this one at off. It's more like a console for me, a feature, and uh, you will be good. So now you just supply everything and we will go in the config file. In the config file, to look at your config file, it's pretty easy. You don't have to go like in the app data. It's just like documents, the name of your game, and you have Immortal Phoenix Rising. Double click on it and you will have all your option in game and a lot of different uh, other option. Normally four means very high, three high, two medium, one low and zero very low. So you have a couple of stuff that you can change. So for example, you can change the crowd density by yourself. The cloud over there, you can put one if you want less and it will, it will give you a nice boost. The rain effect, if you feel like you're lagging and stuttering when you have rain, you can lower this. Uh, what else you have the water quality also that you can change you can put one if you want so this is pretty much like last resort if you want to manually change a uh, graphic parameter you can do it over there to make sure that you optimize your game at 100 percent so that's about it after that just like press save and 
in the Immortal Phoenix, make sure that you block the file. So go to properties and make sure that you put this one at read only. You want to block the file because those options manually doesn't exist on the uh, in-game setting. So each time that you will close the, your game, it will override your parameter. So if you put the read only at on, uh, it will block the file and you will keep your parameter. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig. I will try to help you the best that I can. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.